Wasn't so good. Why? What's the matter? Well, to start with, I'm on reading book number three, and my best friend's on book five. Oh, that's not so bad. And I came third in the spelling test. That's not so bad either. And I'm the worst at skipping in the whole class. <gasps> oh, oh, no! Dreadful! Yes. Oh, yes. no! I know. No bother, mate. Who said that? I did. I'm Ribbit. The frog. Hello. Now, what's all this I hear about you not being able to skip? I just can't seem to get the hang of it. We'll soon fix that. My friend Joey had exactly the same problem. Let me tell you about it. Ribbit. Ribbit. Joey was a little kangaroo who lived in Australia. When he was born, he was so small he couldn't do anything by himself. His mum had to carry him in her pouch wherever she went. Good day, Janet. Good day, Julie. How's little Joey today? He's fine. My Jimmy's just started teething. Show us your teeth, Jimmy. Oh, they crop up so fast, don't they? Tell me about it. Seems like only yesterday I had my first. Ouch! Stop it, you two. Behave! Oh, look, there's Janice with the triplets. Good day, Janice. Hi, girls. Gosh, I can't wait for these three to start jumping by themselves. It won't be long before all our joeys start to jump now. Yeah. Ooh. Then came spring. Spring is a very important time for little kangaroos. That's when they leave their mum's pouches and start to jump. Hey, Joe, what are you doing? We're practicing for the junior jump at Tucker Tucker Billabong. How about you? Nah, he's too young. I'm not too young. Look. Oh, Joey's got flat feet. Joey can jump. Joey can jump. Oh, Joey, there you are. I was looking for you. It's time for your first jumping lesson. Just watch your dad. Joey's dad was a champion bouncer. No kangaroo could jump higher than him. <laughs> That's how you do it. Now it's your turn, son. But I can't jump. What do you mean you can't jump? Of course you can jump. Just try, Joey. My son can't jump? I don't believe it. Now, Ray, don't be too hard on the boy. He'll learn when he's ready. Don't you worry, Joey. Oh, my, oh, my. 
it's getting a bit wet down here. The rainy season must be early this year. Hello, son. I'm Ribbit. Ribbit the frog. Hey there, little Roo. Don't cry. Here, watch this. Ribbit. Ribbit. <laughs> Sorted. No use crying, mate. I'll solve your problems. But I have a great big problem that no one can solve. Oh, really? Tell Ribbit all about it. I can't jump. Can't jump? A kangaroo that can't jump? Impossible. Wait here. These are my jumping boots. They helped me jump when I was little. You can borrow them if you like. It won't work. I'll never be able to jump. Go on, give it a try. And now jump! Jump! You can do it, Joey. Just try. Oh! I did it! I jumped! Joey practised all night, and in the morning, he bounced right back to his mum and dad. Mum! Dad, look! I can jump! Oh, Joey! Now we can enter you for the junior jump! Kangaroos came to the Tucker Tucker Billabong from miles around. All the young roos were there with their mums and dads, grannies, granddads, aunties and uncles. It was the event of the year. My Joey, he's only this big, but boy can he bounce. Look, there he is. Joey! What are you doing here? You can't jump. Joey can jump. Joey can jump. Those big boots will slow you down. Quietly. That's better. Good day, everyone. Let's give a big welcome to all those little roos who are here for the junior jump. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's get started. Who's first? Jumping boots are not allowed. Oh. Don't worry, Joey. You can jump without the boots. But how? They're only beginner's boots. You don't need them now. Attention, everyone. I, I want to jump without my boots. Can I? Please, please, Mr Platypus. Give him a chance. Give well, him a chance. All right, then. Oh, thanks, Mr. Platypus. <laughs> and the winner of the junior jump is Joey. I knew you could do it, son. Ribbit, 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 ribbit. Ribbit, 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 ribbit
great Ribbit. story, Ribbit. 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 And now you're jumping straight to bed. No. This is too much fun. Hey, I want to jump with Ribbit. Good night, Lucy. Good night, Ribbit. Sweet dreams. So, who's going to tell me a story tonight? Oh, um, we haven't got round to deciding yet. Uh... In that case, I'll decide who tells me a story. Oh. First, I need someone to tie this blindfold for me. <gasps> now someone has to spin me round and round. Wow, I'm feeling dizzy! Now, let's see. Who will tell me a story? <laughs> hmm? <laughs> this is a strange animal. That's not an animal. It's a tree! <laughs> <laughs> Silly me. Maybe if I walk this way. Oh, <laughs> my tickles. <laughs> Nelson. It's you! You have to tell me a story. Oh, I, I'm not sure I have a story ready. Um, let me think. Why not tell Lucy about the time when you became a dad? Nelson! A dad? Well, oh, not exactly. I, listen, and I'll tell you the story of Audrey's Egg. A warm breeze was blowing across the African savannah. Gradually, the breeze grew stronger until it became a wind. The wind blew harder and harder and harder still. It was now a very, very windy day. Oh dear, oh dear. The wind is blowing away my nest. And without a nest, my poor little egg will be too cold to hatch. Hey, groovy hairpiece, man. Oh dear, oh dear. I need to get some more twigs for the nest. But I can't leave my egg. What to do? What to do? What I really need is someone to look after it for a little while. Ah, perfect. Excuse me, Natalie. Oh, hello, Audrey. How are you? Here's a new egg. Uh, actually, I need to ask a bit of a favour. OK, ask away. Uh, my nest has been blown away in the wind. I have to collect some twigs and branches to build a new one. But meanwhile, I need someone to exit for me. Exit? Yes. Look after the egg until I get back. It'll be no bother. All you have to do is to keep it warm. All right, then. You are kind. Bye. Keep it warm, eh? Natalie found sitting on the egg quite difficult. Oh! I don't think we antelopes are cut out for this sort of thing. Can't just leave Audrey's egg, though. Perhaps if I found someone to take my place. Hmm. What? Oh. Sorry, Nelson. I didn't see you there. Yes, we elephants are masters of disguise. Hmm. Can I help? Probably. Fancy a spot of egg sitting. Now what is it those birds do? I tried to sit on the egg, but I was worried I might break it. I needed to find a smaller animal to egg sit. Wait here, little egg, while Nelson goes for help. Hello, Ronald. Hello, Tick-Tick Bird. 
Hello. Hello. I need a favor, Ronald. I wonder if I could borrow your tick tick bird for a while. Well, I suppose so. Uh, but only if you bring him straight back when you're finished. It won't take long, I promise. This is an egg, and you're a bird. Need I say more? Sit on the egg and keep it warm. I'll be back as soon as I've had my bath and a little bite to eat. The Tick Tick Bird tried to sit on the egg, but he was too small to cover it completely. So he decided to look for an egg sitter that wasn't as big as an elephant, but was larger than a Tick Tick Bird. Something just in between. What's up? Yeah, where's Ronald? Don't say he's giving you the day off. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm doing a spot of exiting as a favour for a friend. Exiting? Huh, sounds like fun. Yeah, we'd be good at that. Really? The best. The Tick Tick Bird hopped quickly off before Giggles and Tickles could change their minds. Thanks a lot. Just be sure to keep the egg warm. Bye! Hey, huh, I've never juggled with four before. I'm bored with that game. Me too. Let's go down to the waterhole. It was now that time of day when all the animals would gather for a drink and a cooling dip. Hello, Nelson. Um, where is it? Where's what? The egg. The egg, of course. Oh, don't panic. I left it with the Tick Tick Bird. Where's, Where's the, the egg? egg? Don't worry. I left it with Giggles and Tickles. They know what they're doing. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. Where did you leave the egg? What egg? The one I left you in charge of. Oh, that egg. The egg sitters were now very worried. Why didn't anyone ask me to exit, I wonder? Uh-oh. Give it back. Yeah! Give us back the egg! What? What egg? I haven't touched any egg. Well... You've certainly eaten something recently. Yeah, what's with the bulge? That? Oh, it's, uh... Don't believe him. Give it back. That's not an egg. It's a watermelon. That was my tea. Whoops. We really are most sorry. We were worried about the egg, you see. We'd promised to look after it for a friend. <sighs> Is that your egg over there? Oh! Just then, Audrey arrived back. My, my, my! What's this? What a wonderful job you've all done! I only expected you to look after the egg, but you've even managed to hatch it! You're just as beautiful as I knew you would be! What marvellous exiters you make! Who's <laughs> 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 a beautiful Osty Wasty Wisdom? <laughs> I'm its dad. And I'm its mum. No, I'm its mum. I looked after it first. Don't worry, you can all be parents. Look, I've laid some more eggs. I'll be needing lots more help to look after them. Yes! <laughs> I'm glad I chose you, Nelson. That was a lovely hmm. story. What happened to Audrey's eggs? Oh, no problems there. They all hatched and grew up into fine young ostriches. Well, what would you expect with such good egg sitters? And the dad like Nelson. <laughs> 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 well, that's enough baby talk for one night, I think. Ready for bed, Lucy? Okay. Good night. 
Good night, Lucy.